Tricochet from Thunderstruck Transport. Welcome to my channel, Nothing But Trucking. So today, I just wanted to answer a quick uh, thing on the uh, personal conveyance. Uh, there seems to be still uh, some issues, people not quite understanding, even my company uh, has put out several uh, issues regarding it. And basically, the one it comes down to is according to the FMCSA, you can use personal conveyance anytime you are off duty, regardless if you have a load or you are empty, as long as it is not for the benefit of the company, and of course your company allows you to use it, that is up to the company, uh, they can let you use it or not. Personally, I don't think they should because the FMCSA allows you to do it, uh, then I think they should too because it saves on your time. So just a couple of examples, if you are loading or unloading at a shipper or a receiver, and that's the last thing you're going to be doing that day, you know, when you're done, you're basically going to head to a truck stop, a rest area or whatever, and you're taking your break, you can use personal conveyance to get to that location. Uh, it has to be the nearest spot that you are going to be taking that break, and you still have to finish out, of course, your, your full break. But if you are loading or unloading, and then you have to go to a terminal, uh, that would be considered business because you're going to the terminal uh, so therefore you could not use personal conveyance. It's not really considered off-duty. Um, also, you can use it if you, you know, you're on your 10-hour break, uh, you want to go to Walmart, you want to go dinner, you want to go shopping, you want to go do whatever. Uh, whether you have a trailer on board or not, whether you are loaded or not, you're off-duty and you're using it for personal needs if your company allows you to use your vehicle for personal needs then you can log that as personal conveyance, off-duty personal conveyance. Um, so basically the way that the website or the DOT FMCSA regulations state as long as you're not advancing the load for the purpose of uh, the company, you know, you have to be completely free of all duties. Uh, I used it last night, I got empty at about 9.30 in uh, New Jersey and the only closest truck stop, my closest fuel stop, was the Petro, uh, about 50 miles. Uh, we were done for the night. I had no load even at that point because I just emptied and I was starting my 34-hour break. Uh, so I personally conveyed down here to the fuel stop. This is the only fuel stop uh, that we're allowed to use. That was the closest fuel stop. Um, there were two rest areas or service plazas. Uh, one of them was completely closed and the other one was full. Uh, I took pictures of those as I was traveling by. So just in case DOT, you know, wanted some sort of proof, uh, in addition to, you know, really none of the damn business anyway, I'm off duty uh, and coming down to my fuel stop uh, to do my break, I have some sort of photo evidence. So that's a good practice just to cover your ass. Uh, you may want to do if you uh, stop at a rest area and it's full, uh, just take a couple pictures and save them to your phone. Uh, Cam Scanner is a great application that I use to keep all of my documents uh, separated into different folders, personal folders, uh, trip folders for all my trip paperwork. I have every one of my trips separated with all of my pictures of my loads and bills and receipts for that particular trip, uh, but also personal, personal stuff. Uh, instead of just keeping them in your photo album, you can organize them, and that's a great app to use. So if y'all are as OCD as I am and need organization, but uh, that's just a good idea to, you know, keep as much documentation as to why you're personally conveying. Let's say you did go to Walmart, uh, you know, take a picture of your receipt, you know, the date and everything would show that uh, would match, you know, your, your logbook, um, you know, for personal conveyance. So that's just another form of proof that you can give somebody and say, yeah, I was, you know, using it for personal needs. Uh, I also, in the comment section just put personal needs. I don't put anything else. I don't think there's anything else required. 
uh, that was something. And I don't think there's anything in the FMCSA that states what you have to put. Uh, the company I'm leased to, uh, they uh, suggested that, and that's what I do. Um, my company that I'm leased to also kind of micromanages uh, our logbooks a little bit, so they'll they'll add things that I didn't add, so I just kind of look at what they do, and uh, I just kind of follow them as well, uh, whether it's compliant with DOT or it's just their company thing. Uh, some of the things they do is really just CYA, so you know it's a good habit to get into, even though it may not be required, it may be a good thing to do. So um, that's pretty much it with personal conveyance. It's pretty simple. You know, loaded or empty, trailer or no trailer, as long as you're off duty and you're completely doing something for your own personal needs and you're not advancing the load to get to maybe your next shipper or get closer to your next shipper, uh, but you're actually using it to just go shopping or find a place to, uh, to take your break, um, things like that. If your company allows you to take your truck home uh, when you're done, uh, you can personal convey to your home after you've completed you know, whatever requirements the job had for you. Um, so it's just a way to save some time on your driving and things like that. So that's the way I've read the FMCA. That's the way I've been operating under it. I have had no issues. Um, that is my understanding. If uh, you, I'm, again, I am by all means no DOT person, so don't take what I am telling you as the gospel. Please research it for yourself. Uh, but that is my understanding, uh, and if any of you do find that I am not correct, uh, then please put down in the comments and let me know. I'll certainly research that further and give you uh, what I find out about that. So um, that's all I just kind of wanted to touch on. I hope that clears some uh, questions up. If you have anything more, if I've confused you more, then let me know, and I'll try to unconfuse you um, to the best of my ability. So. Anyway, appreciate y'all for tuning in, and uh, y'all have a great day.